Jinx D. Cooley. Jinx was a little edgy for a friend of 17 years. She was into bikers and 70s punks. I'd just met her in the second time before the cracker. She was the Irishman's fault. Both times we saw each other, he had been out of sight in the background somewhere up close. A once a year sex freak. She spent our time in the basement both times in June. And she showed me her copper bound knife. Jinx was going to Florida. She'd done it the year before with her boyfriend, a biker without a bike. But she was still seeing him, and she needed to see me. Before she left the second time, because she missed me, she said she'd had an abortion, and she didn't know whose it was, but that she hoped it wasn't John's, and that maybe it was, well, maybe not mine. I will assume his name was John Smith, but there was never any reason for concern about him. <clears throat> he was a nice guy. I dropped her off that summer on a long road in Sanborn, the same place she'd called me from.